data. We all use it, we all store it, and increasingly we carry it around with us on laptops as work requires us to become ever more mobile. But with greater portability comes greater risk, whether that's the threat of theft, loss or accidental damage. So how safe is the data stored in our laptop? We decided to put it to the test by putting two computer hard drives to the sword. I've challenged Will to see who can do the most damage to a hard drive by subjecting it to the kind of sticky end that it might reasonably meet in the outside world. For starters, I've decided to see what happens when you drop a hard drive from 40 feet down onto the hard road below. Bullseye. How's it look? Now to find out what Gemma's got planned for her drive. She's told me to meet her in the pub. So, Will thinks that I've just come to the pub for a sneaky pint at lunchtime. What he doesn't realise is, I brought my hard drive with me. In it goes. Oh. So, Gemma, I'm pretty confident my hard drive is yeah. well and truly destroyed. What have you got planned for? Well, I thought I'd come for a pint. Mold things over. Really? I, I, I don't you... know what I'm going to do really. So I've got, I the, I've got, got the beers one. in. So I'll just, I'll just pour you one here. Thank there you. There you go. Oh, bit of a head on it. And <laughs> hang on a minute. <laughs> so I thought, what do I know best about? I thought oh. beer. That's what I'll, I'll do with my hard drive. I'll put it in. So we've got three we've got a hard beer. drive and a pint of beer. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I think it's uh, well and truly been uh, out drunk with this uh, hard drive. I think it's time to get it out, take it to the boys in the lab and see what they can do with it with uh, yours as well. I've come to the on-track labs in Epsom, Surrey to see how they've fared with our hard drives. The good news is that on-track managed to recover every file from both disk drives. Um, 43 were Word documents and 54 were just... JPEG photos. Do you recognise any of those? Oh, no, you've got the OnTrack took us into their labs to show us exactly how they recovered the data from both our drives. OK, uh, this particular drive um, had a mechanical failure. Uh, it had been dropped from, I think it was a third storey building. What we did with this particular drive is we knew it had been dropped, so we took that straight into the clean room and we um, took the lid off and examined the internal mechanical parts to make sure that they were all working correctly. And then we could um, make the necessary repairs to get the hard drive working. Okay, so this is a recovery from the beer. Similar process to the last drive that um, we, we knew that it had been exposed to liquid, so we, we took the lid off um, and then cleaned up the hard drive so that um, we could make it work again. Out of the two, which one would you say has sustained the most damage? The one that's dropped from the three-storey building or the one that was put in the, uh, the litre of beer? Um, the more difficult one to recover from was the one that had been in the beer. So there you have it. It was possible to restore the data from both disk drives, giving hope to thousands of people each year who drop, dent or otherwise maim their laptops. And it's worth knowing such services exist, especially if the data on those disks is irreplaceable. But it's always best practice to remember to take good care of your laptop and to back up all vital data.